Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hands is Monarch number one. Uh, this is a really intriguing debut. Uh, it's written by Rodney Barnes, art by Alex Lenz, coloring by Louis NCT, color assist by Mar Silvestri Galato, lettering by Marshall Dillon. Art director is Jason Sean Alexander, editor is Greg Tamburello, graphic and logo design is Jordan Butler. Quite a team. Uh, so this is, this is uh, you know, aliens come invade the world sort of story. Very War of the Worlds-ish, uh, but set in, I think, Compton is the actual location. I don't know if it actually really ever says if it's Compton, but um, I'm going to go with it's Compton, because uh, for some reason that sticks out to me. Uh, so this is a, it's a really interesting debut, um, kind of bouncing between, well, say, the present and the past. Uh, and it's about this kid who, um, lives in a, uh, I don't know, like foster care home, um, named Trayvon, and kind of it's like the perspective of an invasion from him. Um, he has some history with a, another boy who is in the, the home with him, uh, that kind of haunts him throughout the issue, and he's dealing with that, dealing with kind of his family feeling uh dealing with what's going on um and a, a interesting ending that i'm not quite sure exactly where it's all gonna go um it's a it's a fascinating it's a fascinating debut um and it definitely it definitely has me intrigued as to wanting to read the next issue and um seeing you know where this team takes the story uh, I mean, it's receiving praise everywhere, and I, I totally understand why why people really dig it. Um, I'm I think it's good. I think it's really, really, really solid. Um, I don't know if I'm quite in the like holy crap level that a lot of folks are at, but I think it's an, a very solid, solid read, um, and definitely delivers a, a different take on kind of that War of the Worlds invasion uh, vibe. Um, yeah, it's 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 definitely interesting. I think the the thing that I find fascinating is like we don't see much resistance at all like there's just kind of all hell breaking loose and then it kind of flashes forward a little bit with the kids trying to survive um as to like what's happened to them and, you know there's also this aspect of this bully who kind of haunts Trayvon Trayvon and um you know uh leads to where uh, he seems more of a kind of means to the ends to get the story to where it needs to go as opposed to um, delivering a lot, and I thought there, I think there's a lot of potential, and I think a really interesting juxtaposition there uh, going forward, if it goes forward, about this this uh, this cloud of a bully, this cloud of you know these aliens. Like, how does all that tie in together? Um, there's also clearly a lot of faith in the main character that I find really interesting to see, and I want to see if that gets explored more as well. Um, you don't really see that too often. This is this is the kid who does kind of refer to, you know. Jesus and all that stuff, um, you know, regularly. So there, there's some, there's some religion there, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it's overall, it's, it's a, it's an intriguing start. I mean, it really is just feels like a war of the world from kind of different perspective. And that's not a bad thing at all. Um, it's just where this is all going to go has me it has me intrigued. Like, that's kind of the... That's the thing that has me, you know, wanting to come back. Um, like, what's presented, it's good. Uh, it's interesting. But I don't know if it quite hooks me as much of, like, how it ends and, and what it sets up and some of these kind of themes that it's built. Uh, it should be a very interesting series. I mean, the team is... Uh, it's a hell of a team. Um, Ronnie Barnes is a fantastic storyteller, too, so... It's definitely going to be a hot book. I'm not going to be shocked if this sells out and gets new printing. Um, I don't think that's been announced yet, been announced yet, but would not be surprised if it gets announced uh, at some point. Uh, you can go get this out now in comic shops. We've got little links beneath this video where you put in your zip code. It'll tell if a comic shop is near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can go and purchase it yourself. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage when we... Uh, uh, you do support our site by doing that. Uh, if just watching our video support, so thank you for that. If you are into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mass on all graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.